And good evening. Thanks for joining us. Two students suffered minor injuries on their way to school this morning when the school bus they were riding in rolled over. News 3's Brad Chameson is here to explain what happened this morning, Brad. Well, the school district's emergency response plan started after the crash happened at about 9.30 this morning. Emergency crews responded to the incident on Hatchery Road about a mile west of U.S. 12 near Baraboo. What they found could have been terribly worse. It's a terrifying sight. A school bus carrying students resting on its side after rolling down an embankment on the way to school. The school bus crossed over to the left-hand side of the road and then eventually got in the soft snow or the soft ground and, and uh, rolled onto its side. The pictures may be more frightening than the crash itself. It wasn't a violent act. I think it was a slow-moving act. While officials continue their investigation, they believe the crash itself occurred slowly. There were approximately 15 kids on the school bus at the time. The, uh, we know that two of them complained, of, one complained of a sore ankle and the other complained of a bump to, her, to his or her nose. The kids were actually older students. Um, most of them were middle school or high school age. Several of the students returned to class while others were picked up by their parents. The students did not seem um, alarmed or traumatized in any way. It was a, a rollover and the bus was not moving very fast, um, fortunately, um, due to the icy roads this morning. Those icy road conditions delayed the start of school two hours. School officials say the delay was intended to give county highway crews time to clear roads. The same officials would not say if weather was to blame for the crash. Obviously, our first priority is the safety of our students, and we were concerned about those students involved in the accident. Counselors were available for students at the school and at the Baraboo Civic Center where parents were picking up students involved in the crash. While no official cause has been determined, the Sheriff's Department did say sand was applied to the road after the crash to make it easier for emergency responders to get to the scene. Boy, some terrifying shots there. Brad Chamberlain reporting. Brad, thank you very much. Thanks.